Hi everyone, this is Maria and welcome back to my channel. So glad to see you guys today. Today's Sunday. What are your plans for today? Are you going out? Are you staying home? Are you gonna watch Netflix today and chill? Let me know in the comments down below. So today I'm gonna be going to a very interesting place. It was um, recommended to me by a friend. So thank you so much for that. I'm really excited to visit this place. It's called uh, Jungle's Cafe and Bakery. I'm not sure if I said it the right way, but that's the name. So it's located at uh, 125 Newbury Street, Boston, like in the downtown area. I'm gonna be showing you the, the whole area because that's actually, I've been wanting to go there and you know it was a good thing that someone recommended to visit this place as well because this is one of the places that i also wanted to like show you because this is a really nice area this is where all the people with money live the state house is nearby so yeah it's pretty cool so i'm currently uh on the yelp uh, web page and i'm looking at the photos and the reviews and let's see what it says so overall it has very good reviews there's someone who says a picture says a thousand words just look at that dessert so they have like 3d uh dessert i know it's crazy right um it's like very unique food they also have i, I believe they also serve lunch and they have very exotic drinks as well we really had the best experience so this place is kind of like the sweet raku in las vegas with only limited dessert selections and drinks I'm giving this place a 5 stars because though it seems like they make things just for the grand, everything is also incredibly delicious. Mmm, cute little place. My friend brought me there after lunch when I was visiting. The moment I walked in, I saw so many cute pastries. They perfectly describe the desserts here has art you can eat. To be honest, I definitely thought this was going to be one of those places. I can't read more because it doesn't let me for some reason, but yeah. Such a cute cafe, the desserts are 3D printed shapes and they are, can they be any cuter? Okay, so yes, we definitely got a, you know, a lot of good reviews from different people. As you can see in the picture, the pastry is it's the 3D. And I never seen anything like that before, especially here in Boston, like you don't get to see like modern things like that. But, uh, you know, it's a good thing that it's here in my city and I can get to visit. So stay tuned guys, um, I'm about to head out. So I'll see you in a little bit, thank you. Oh, 
All right, guys, so right behind me, we got the state house. This is a new state house because before it used to be uh, somewhere else. This is the state house, and it looks like it's under construction right now. So, uh, I am going to get closer so you can get a better look. So I'm not really sure what's going on over there, but we got a group of people. I believe they're protesting or something. Right in front of the state house. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna be heading to the bakery soon, but I just wanted to show you um, clips of the city, this area specifically. Uh, it's kind of cloudy today so it doesn't look as beautiful but it's a, a really great area So this, what you can see behind me right now is the Boston Common uh, Frog Pond. Pond, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It opened not too long ago. It was closed due to COVID and now, you know, we got a bunch of people visiting here. It's a great place for families and, uh, you know, anybody to come here and cool off because it's really hot today. So. Even though it's cloudy and it looks like it's gonna rain, but it's so hot, guys. You have no idea. So, you know, this is really nice. This whole park is called uh, the Boston Common and it's located in downtown Boston. So this park is really big, it's a place where you can come and sit down, read a book, do whatever you want, and relax. more of those people I wonder what's going on so guys this is the pretty side of the park I love this I guess it's also considered Boston Common uh, but it has like the Swan Lake and you can go on the boat as well we're not gonna do that today but I just wanted to show you Guys, look how cute is this park. So much nature. I always enjoy coming here. I remember the first time I visited this place, I was so surprised and amazed.
guys, I can't get over how beautiful this place is. A lot of people come here for their wedding pictures and like you can tell why. This place is dreamy. So I'm getting a little hungry right now. So I am going to go on Google Maps right now and search the uh, well, I know the address, but I don't know how to get there. So I'm uh, going on Google Maps and um, So I can show me how to get there, but it shouldn't be that far from the park because it's in Newberry Street And that's basically be like right next to this part, right? One hour later I'll be seeing you guys in a little bit Guys, my bad. This is the public garden actually that's what it's called. So we got all the good stores here. So the walk from the park was 13 minutes now it's five minutes so i had to walk a little bit to get to this place but it's okay i used to walking you guys know that i do a lot of walking here on this channel know something I like about this city is that you have a combination of modern like new and old buildings together so I think that's a pretty cool thing about Boston so we're officially in Newberry Street we're here guys I really hope this place is not packed because usually famous places like that are crowded um, so I hope it's not um, crowded this time because I'm trying to eat something right away so we're here guys so many people walking Anyways, I um, just wanted to wrap up this video and tell you a little bit about my experience um, at the bakery. Um, so let's say, so from 1 to 10, I'll give it a... I'll give it an 8. Just because it was too sweet for my liking, I would have liked it better if it was less sweet. Uh, the tea... Um, 
I think it was called Lily Fairy Tea or something like that. So at first when I saw it, I was like, this looks nothing like the picture. But then with time, the you know the little flower that was inside the the water, uh, it it like bloomed. So that was pretty cool actually. And then I realized, okay, so this is actually what I ordered. I was really concerned at the beginning, but then you know it was okay. Uh, there was no sugar. Uh, on that tea so that was that was good actually because you know if you're eating something sweet and you're drinking something with sugar you won't really like um, you can't tell the difference so it makes sense actually that you know didn't have no sugar uh, so you know that was good the they give it to you in a glass as you saw and I didn't know that it was gonna be hot. I thought it was gonna be like um, iced tea or something like that, but it's at, it was actually hot tea. So, you know, just be mindful of that when you go there and try those, uh, the, the teas on, in, on the glass, just be uh, aware that they might be hot. So don't burn yourself, just grab it just grab the end of the glass the bottom part not the top so you don't get burned so the tea i'll rate it from so from one to ten i'll give it a i'll give it a five five or six it was a good tea um but i would have liked it more if it was sweetened you know if it had sugar but you know I guess next time when I order it, if I'm not eating any pastries and I just want to drink the tea, then I'm just going to order a uh, sweet tea instead of unsweetened. <laughs> so it tastes better, you know, but it wasn't really bad. It tastes like it tasted like lavender or something like that. It had like this aroma as well, like a lavender aroma. So that was pretty cool. Um, the place. Um, was a little bit crowded at the beginning but it then then it got better it's a very popular place so you know there's always gonna be people there i was also hungry because even though i ate dessert i um you know that didn't fill me up and i had to go so i could grab something to eat and then it started raining when i was on my way to get some food um so this is what i had for lunch this is the name of the place that I went to. It was my first time there and the food was really good. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. So if you like this video guys, please give it a like. I'm trying to do different things because you know, that's really the concept of my channel. But if you have any ideas or any new places that you want me to visit, please let me know and I'll be sure to visit those places and record the whole experience. And yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.